Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome to my second movie night, and the only reason why I'm doing this is because you guys suggested me to do this. Um, I got a lot of comments on my movie night video saying how you guys wanted me to do another one, so here we are, Friday night. By the way, I'm going to upload this on Saturday night, so whenever I make a movie night, it's going to be the night before. The night before I upload this the video the night I upload the video I'm confusing myself right now but um yes right now I'm watching television but I'm about to watch a movie and I want to watch a movie that I have not yet seen before let me just turn that on TV here I don't want to hear George Lopez um here's all the crap I haven't not seen yet got a good little stack of movies right there I haven't yet seen um I also have a couple blu-rays that I haven't seen yet Let's see, what do we got? I have not seen Orphan. I really want to see Orphan. And, um, Hellbreeder. I really want to see Hellbreeder. So, I mean, we'll see. It all depends on how the night goes. I'm probably going to try to get my brother to be in here, because I'm pretty lonely right now. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, you know what? Let me go ask him if he would like to be a part of my movie night real quick. Hey, Elijah. Want to watch a movie with me? Yeah, a little bit. Alright, sweet. Okay, so he said he's going to watch one with me in a little bit. Uh, you know, I really don't know what that means. I don't, I honestly don't know if that means, like, in a couple hours, in a couple minutes, in a couple... I don't know. But, um, one thing I do know that what I want to do tonight is watch a movie that I have a feeling that I might not like or would really care less for like that I can give away because um as many of you may know the best buy trade and save is back so um we get those five dollar coupons every time we turn in a five used DVDs and um yeah let me bring this out for a second yeah yeah here's my little stack of movies that I'm thinking about uh you know turning in I have Cloverfield I want to get the Steelbook of Cloverfield, uh, King Kong. There's a gift set I want of that, so I don't really need that. Um, this is Saw 3, the um, director's cut. I did make a video or an unboxing of this. Um, not too impressed with the uh, shipping. I was a bit disappointed, so um, I might get rid of that. Hangover, I, uh, I I really like this movie. I just kind of I don't like this version. It's one of those where it's like... Um, it's English and then some other language, and it, like, really bugs the crap out of you. I really don't like that. Um, Prom Nights, this movie was shit, but, uh, if I do end up getting it again, I want to get the slipcase. Leprechaun, the only reason why I bought this was because I wanted to review it. I really don't care for it now. Probably gonna get, like, a box set or something with all the movies. Um, I want a steelbook of that. Good movie. Two disc collector set on Blu-ray. Hopefully I'll get that. And then, uh... There's a, there's a box set of this, like, with the pho shoe phone, whatever that is. That looks cool. And then, um, I do not know if they take Blu-rays or not. I'm actually not too sure, but, um, this movie was crap. So, that's all I got. And then I have a CD that I don't need. If any of you want a free CD, here it is. The Tony Danza Tap Dance Extravaganza. Um, they're like a metal band. I don't know. I really don't like them, and I got that for Christmas. I don't even know why they got it for me. But, um... Let's begin our movie night already. Alright guys, so I decided what I'm going to do. I'm actually not going to watch a movie that I own. I'm actually going to watch a movie free on YouTube. I've been doing that a lot lately. I've been seeing a lot of movies that are um, on YouTube that I've been wanting to see. And I'm going to be watching... Grotesque. The unrated version. I have heard of this and I do want to see it. And plus it was a suggested movie, I think. So, um, yeah, I'm going to sit here in my brother's room with my laptop with headphones in, uh, no, just Elijah's playing some GTA I F I V, GTA I V, hey Elijah, yeah. I'm gonna be watching a movie, is that cool? Uh, Alright, sweet, so yeah, um, I did see the first, uh, three minutes, pretty good so far, I guess, but, um, yeah, um, I'm probably not gonna make another video until maybe the movie's over, and then I'll go ahead and watch another movie, I'm planning on watching quite a lot of movies tonight. Maybe two, three, I don't know. That's actually not a lot, but I'm getting kind of tired. But um, then again, I don't fall asleep till 3 o'clock in the morning anyways. So, um, yeah, I will see you guys later. I'll tell you how to move these after I'm done watching it. And, yeah, bye. Ah! 
Hey guys, I'm in the middle of the movie right now, and I did just notice something, actually. Sorry, my thumb's in the camera there. Um, look at this. Sorry, my brother's talking. Stop talking! Stop! 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 Okay, um, I looked at the description, and I saw this. Yeah, it's, um, if you guys can see, it does say, Martyrs 2. Martyrs 2. Apparently it's an unofficial sequel to Martyrs, but, um, we'll see. Okay, guys, so I am back in my room. I am out of my brother's room. He keeps talking. I'm sorry about that, but, um, I just finished Grotesque, and I just want to know what the hell I just watched, because... I don't know what I just watched, but I will get into more detail with my review. He's going to be reviewing it. Probably, I don't know. But, um, alright, so, what to watch next? Let's see. I'm not going to watch Orphan or Hell Breeder today. Those are the only two Blu-rays I haven't yet seen. Uh, let's see. What do you guys think? What What do you guys think I should watch? Hmm? I'll, I'll let I'll let you guys pick. What what do I? Okay, no, never mind. I'm picking. See, there there's this movie right here. It's called Corn, and I have no idea what it is, but um, think I might watch it. So um, yeah, I think this is gonna be the one I'm gonna watch next. Is Corn? I really I haven't heard. Nothing about it. I don't know what it is. I got it for five bucks at FYE. It just looks. I just like the cover and the format. It's. I don't know, man. It has like that awesome hologram. But uh, I have no idea what it's about. I have no idea what to expect. The only thing I know about it is that it's rated PG 13, which could be a bad thing or a good thing. I don't know. But um, I'm probably going to watch this next. So, um, yeah, I'll see. Um, wait before I start turning back doing my outro, um, I forgot what I was going to say, oh yeah, um, I'll tell you guys what I f thought about it after I watch it, and yeah, bye! <laughs> <sighs> Putting in corn, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray this do you ever stop uh, talking, Elijah? Like do you ever stop? I can't hear you, Jay. there's like 20 people talking at once. Oh yeah? Maybe she should get off that damn go. thing and get alive. Alright, this already looks really bad. Look at this. Let's go to chapter selections. I want to see. Alright, well, I'm just going to have to... It looks really low budget, but you know what? I'm going to give it a shot, so, um... Alright, bye. Alright, guys. Um, I just got done watching Corn. Now, um, to, to make a long story short, I really need to stop judging a, a book by its case. Because, okay, hang on, let me show you the case. This looks like, first of all, that's an awesome hologram and stuff. Really love the case, just so it made me want to buy it. And it looks like it's going to be like about some killer sheep or something. Apparently, it's like this, not, it's not even a horror movie. It's, it's more of like a drama thriller egg. more of a drama if anything at all rated pg-13 no action you none of that i know I, I was expecting like a little bit more um it, basically the movie was about the life of a girl who moves back to her hometown uh in a farm with her family and uh she's getting she's having a baby and it's basically just about her and there's something going on with like the genetic uh uh some byproduct from the cornfield i don't know it's weird and to be honest this is a waste of money do not get this it is boring one of the most boring movies i've ever seen i'm probably not even going to do a review of this uh it's horrible, and you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in here with my movies that I would like to trade and save. Because that was seriously a waste of money, and I really don't like that movie at all. I had to skip through it so much because there's just so many... It was dumb, okay? But okay, so, um, on to movie number three. Hope I, I, This might not be my last movie. I'm not sure, to be honest. 
All right, let's see. What do we got here? Let me ask Elijah, because you know what? Elijah told me that he was going to watch a movie with me, and I want to watch a movie with him, so let's ask what he wants to watch. I'm not watching the movie. Huh, are you going to watch the movie? No. You're not? No. Oh. All right, guys. He said no. He's still playing GTA IV. He's really addicted to that game right now. I do not know why. Um. All right, so I guess it's just me. Another lonely night. Oh, no. Uh... Let's watch another movie that, because that, that's actually kind of surprising how I kind of, like, want to get rid of that movie. Let's watch another one that I think I might not like that much. Um. Hmm. Uh, me and Elijah started Hellride earlier. It's actually still on my Blu-ray player. Uh, we never finished it. We watched, like, the first five minutes, and we went downstairs to eat dinner. And, um, here we are now. We just completely forgot about it. But I think I'm going to watch The Presence. This looks pretty cool. Um, you know, I really don't know. I've been wanting to see this movie for a while now. I got it at Blockbuster for like five bucks. Um, it looks pretty cool. Again, it's PG-13, which is a bit lame. Uh, it's like some rom romantic ghost story, apparently. I don't know. I might want it. I might not. We'll see if it's good or not. But, um, yeah, let's start it. The presence. Push the play button. Ugh, I should pop up in the screen any minute now. I just kind of freak myself out by making that noise, and I'm going to plop in my bed and go to sleep. My video camera has six minutes left, and it's about to die. So, um, I'm probably going to charge this movie while I'm watching... I'll charge this camera while I'm watching this movie, and, um, it's starting. So, uh, I'll give you guys my thoughts after the movie. It's kind of funny, though. I was just thinking about this. Um, the first movie I saw, Grotesque, which I never really mentioned what it was about or anything about it. It's a, it's a Japanese movie. Very short, like an hour, 13 minutes. Again, you can find it on YouTube. It's on there, the whole movie. Um, it really has no plot at all. Just pointless torture. It's more of like a comedy. Like a... Well, I'm used to seeing disturbing stuff, like I just saw, I saw a Serbian film. You know, that's sort of a movie that's just kind of like, you know, how much can you take? You know, it's like, it's kind of just a very gross movie. Um, it's torture and other stuff. It's just gross, but um, yeah, that's like a hard, I, I don't even know if that's rated anything, but um kind of funny how I like watch that very disturbing movie and now I'm watching two PG-13 movies both in which will probably suck I really have no high hopes for this one but um we'll see how it goes I need to charge my battery it is now five minutes and um I'll see you guys later I'll tell you my thoughts after the movie and I'll probably be a little more quiet when I'm talking because my parents might be in bed and it is uh, almost 12 30 so um I'll see you guys later How's it going, guys? Alright, so I just finished The Presence, and, um... Well, I did get this at Blockbuster for $5 again. I already mentioned that, but, um, I'm gonna tell you again. Um, yeah, The Presence. Basically, what it's about, it's a PG-13... I don't want to call it a horror movie. I want to call it a ghost story. Not a lot of whole lot of horror in here, if you know what I mean. There's no horror... Nothing. No jump scares, no blood, no guts, no gore. It's just, it tells a story. And, um, you know, the acting's not the best, but, um, the story's pretty good. What it's about, it's about this girl, she's lives alone in this isolated cabin in the middle of the woods, and, um, she feels this apparition. It's like an actual human being figure, but he's, like, actually not there. It's almost as if she can feel him th being there, but, um... Yeah, she lives alone, and she feels like this guy's watching her. You know, it's not really... I don't even know if it's, like, actually, like, a human being, like a ghost. But, um, she knows... She kind of knows he's there. But, um, she has a boyfriend. And the boyfriend moves into the house, which makes the ghost jealous. So, um, basically, it's all about, like, uh, you know, um... The ghost tries to fight off the boyfriend. 
not physically, but mentally, you'll see what I mean. I'm Actually, this movie was not all that great. It was just okay, I guess. Um, really nothing special. I really don't think it's something I would want to ever watch again. Um, do I want to trade this in for uh, Best Buy? I don't know. I have to think about it. It was good story-wise. Just the rest was not very good. Just not a movie I'm, I'd am i be into. But, um, I mean, if this sounds like something you're into, go ahead and give it a shot. But, um, I already picked up the next movie I'm going to watch. And I said I wasn't going to watch it, but that is Hell Reader on Blu-ray. Um, got this for FYE for, at FYE for three ninety nine. dollars um, I did look this up on IMDb, it did not do good, it has like a 2.6 <laughs> stars rating, so, um, I don't know, I don't know what it's about, um, it, it does have like a killer clown on the back, so it has something to do with clowns, this kid's carrying an axe, I don't know, um, looks pretty cheesy, it's actually made in 2004, thought it was an 80s movie when I first got it. And if I have time, which I might not, this might be my last movie, I will um, watch The Glass House. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it. Um, I'm probably not going to have time to watch The Glass House. I might save that for another time. But um, So yeah, as of right now, we are done watching The Presence and we are about to watch Hellbreeder. So let's put it in. Please don't make a dirty joke out of that. Please, just don't. 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 Hell breeder. To the rescue on Blu-ray. Yeah. On Blu-ray. Yeah, guys. Usually at a time like this where I watch four or five movies in a row, I like to make p popcorn. But um, right now isn't the case. I know last time I didn't make popcorn. I'm not going to make popcorn this time. Because, um, well, it, it is 1.30 and, um, you see, I... I'm just not in the mood for popcorn right now. I really don't feel like getting up and going all the way downstairs just to make popcorn. Because I might not even finish it. And um, I'm probably going to fall asleep during this movie anyways because I'm pretty tired. So I'm... <clears throat> and I'm full from chilies. But yeah, so the movie's starting. I will tell you guys my thoughts after the movie. And um, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, um, I'm going to talk a little bit quieter now because my parents are sleeping, but it is almost 3 o'clock and this is my last movie, so um, no more movies for tonight, no more, I'm going to have to save the glass house for another night, but um, I just got done watching Hellbreeder and um, it is one of the worst movies I've seen all year, it is horrible. I it deserves its rating on IMDb, 2.6 stars, I think it was. It was terrible. Um, I really don't know what this had to do with clowns. This kid's not even in the movie. I don't know why his eyes are red. The movie's just... It's about a girl. And her son got killed. And she wants to find the murderer of her son. But it's very hard to follow because it's all just random scenes and flashy backgrounds and stuff of just random nonsense. Horrible acting, horrible quality, horrible audio, horrible editing. Everything about it was so stupid. I'm going to have to do a review slash rant on this to get into more detail. But um, yeah, so that's definitely going in there. I'm going to trade that in, but, um, before I do trade that into Best Buy, I need to make a review of it, but, um, so basically, alright, so let's just, let's just kind of overview what I watched tonight. I saw Grotesque, that was the first movie I watched, that was bad, that was just over-the-top nonsense, it was entertaining at least, um, and then I saw, what I saw, what I see, Corn. Corn was just a bad movie. I don't even want to talk about it. Um, the Presence was probably the best of the four that I saw. Even though it is one of my least favorites. I didn't really like it. But it is a better movie than the ones I've seen tonight. 
And then I saw Hellbreeder, which is... I don't even want to talk about that one either, because that was just horrible. But, um... Yeah, Grotesque out of all four was probably my favorite, just because of just the over-the-top... It was ridiculous, but, like, in a good way. is bad, but good. Um... But yeah, so there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. That is it. That is my movie night. I am done. Sorry if I bored you guys. I watched four movies tonight. Watched four movies within a good six hours, I think. So, um, that's pretty good. It started at, like, nine, I think. But, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this. And I'll, uh, yeah, check out my other reviews and stuff. Do not forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Ah!